workforce will have to be reconstituted. They do also need to find uh, a CEO and managing director. Nandan, of course, is in a non-executive position. So, you know, what would be the next steps now uh, in terms of starting the repair? I think the next step will be to some extent what has been, uh, you know, mentioned by Naran Muti, go into whatever what the issues involved to make uh, public the report which was given and to allay the fears of investors. So the next step would be to, uh, you know, restore confidence among the st all stakeholders by making everything transparent, open, by making sure that everything is in uh, good, uh, you know, condition in the sense that uh, whatever be the issues of their promoters, as well as the investors and the institutional investors, all those are now being addressed. So I think Nandan's first task would be to restore confidence in the company to make sure that, to tell the people mm. everything is in good condition and therefore the <clears throat> company should be supported as it has been in the past. Uh, you're right. Uh, Mr. R. Chandrasekhar, president of NASCOM, also joins us. Uh, Mr. Chandrasekhar, appreciate you joining us here, sir. Uh, Nandan is back. He understands this business. He understands the company. He's a bridge from the old to the new, so to speak. Uh, you know, what do you believe will be the biggest challenge now for Nandan as he makes his comeback? Uh, I think his, uh, the first task uh, that he has is to uh, really uh, convey a message of uh, uh, stability and uh, uh, renewed confidence uh, uh, in the company and uh, uh, amongst all the stakeholders. Uh, that's, I think, the first and most uh, immediate task. It's very good that uh, the company has moved with alacrity to address uh, all the concerns that had uh, emerged in uh, recent uh, times because of these developments. Uh, and after that, of course, uh, to uh, you know, have a uh, CEO, uh, which is uh, a, an immediate priority. And thereafter, of course, uh, everything will uh, fall in place. And I think that uh, uh, that is important uh, both for the company as well as for the industry uh, across the board. Hmm. Uh, you know, uh, Shale Shari Bhakti, from a governance perspective, and, and uh, I was speaking with the former SEBI chief, M. Damodran, and, and he believes that, you know, in the past, uh, liberties have been taken with a corporate governance structure, you know, to create so many posts, executive, non-executive, and so on and so forth. He believes that now a simpler, cleaner structure ought to be put in place. Uh, you know, what would your thoughts be? I would agree entirely. I think you need one unifying non-executive chairman, and the entire board should operate as a team. There should be a, uh, the DNA of the board should be such that they can operate with each other with the highest amount of trust and with zero egos coming in the way of releasing the true potential of this great Indian company, Infosys. That, I think, is hmm. what all of us that... should focus on. Uh, but do you believe that, uh, uh, you know, part of this process will actually be to do things like making the Panaya forensic report public? How critical will that be? I, I think Nandan will have to assess the overall impact of making it public. There, he, he might be persuaded to do that, knowing him to be a person who believes in transparency. But I don't think that's the topmost priority. The topmost priority is to stabilize the company, to assure the customers, to assure the employees, and to assure the stakeholders that now INFI will be back on the path that everybody expects it to be. High quality governance, great board, a team which is pulling together, and a management succession plan which will become visible and will be implemented smoothly and effectively. That is what will restore confidence. Well, we don't know what the board...